Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and uh, today I'm gonna go on a daring quest. Uh, I'm gonna make another bass video. And since my other bass video about the Squire Affinity jazz bass was is probably the most hated videos I've ever made, uh, we'll see how this goes. So I'm gonna make sure that everyone knows what this video is all about, because everyone seems to get that video wrong. And they thought that was the best bass player in the world, playing the coolest bass licks ever. And this is not that. This is a demo of a bass. And I'm not in any way a professional bass player. And I'm not aiming to be or trying to tell that I am. Uh, it's just uh, I'm a regular guitar player and play bass almost as much as I play guitar. And... Uh, it's just a regular consumer's opinion about a product and what I like about it and what I don't like about it uh, as a help for someone else that's interested in this instrument. So yeah, got that right. Yeah, and today I'm gonna look at Squire's Jaguar bass. It's the short scale version of it, the special short scale. And it's from the vintage modified range. Uh, the Jaguar bass is, yeah, it's a bass version of the electric guitar called the Jaguar. Has the same body style as you're probably familiar with. It's, um, yeah, shared with the Jaguar, the Jazzmaster has basically the same body shape as well. The Mustang has a similar shape, yeah. So it's basically like a Strat up here and uh, like a jazz bass almost with a cut off thing here and it's kind of yeah contoured and comfortable um, I, I think it was first Fender that made Jaguar basses and they become popular so Squire started making them as well this is a 2011-2012 uh, 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 Indonesian made by Court okay let's talk about some of the features uh, well, let's start at the top as usual, and this one has great tuners, much unlike the Squire Affinity bass that I reviewed, and um, I think they changed the tuners on those as well, because it's, uh, yeah, big, real, solid tuners, I don't think you'll have any problems with those, they are very precise and work really great. Uh, we have a uh, maple neck and a rosewood fingerboard and as the short scale name suggests it's a short scale it's uh, usually a uh, fender bass is uh, 34 inches like the neck from the top here from the knot to the bridge is 34 inches inches and this is only 30 so you take four inches away and that's quite a lot and it makes the neck shorter but and uh, they to talk, still talk about the neck. It's, I mean, it's kind of a thick neck, isn't it? The dimensions of it, I think, are rather similar to the regular jazz basses from Squire. It has the same nut width, and uh, yeah, it's a kind of a for being this short, small guitar bass guitar. Uh, it's got a yeah, it's quite a big neck for that. What you get though is it's easy to reach. The frets are, I mean, sitting close together. And uh, yeah, you get a looser tension on the strings. And it could help. Uh, especially if you have smaller hands or yeah, are starting out playing. Or just want to have an easy time playing. Who doesn't? Um, the body is a Gathis, the cheap wood that Squire makes their cheapest guitars out of, and uh, it's very light, very light, it's so light that it's very neck heavy actually, since you have this giant headstock and these massive tuners and a rather thick maple neck that's much heavier than this super light Agathis wood, so... Well, well, that's how it goes. Uh, you have this configuration of we have a uh, P bass, precision bass, 
uh, pick up here and you have a just base pick up down here so you get to have the best of three worlds I suppose since it's a Jaguar body with a P base pickup and a just base pickup and they are wired like on a just base so you have like the volumes for each here and the master master tone and your regular squire um, bridge and then uh, yeah there are some things to complain about even though this is from Indonesia I'm used to having Indonesian guitars being really good especially from court but the fret ends on this one mm. are they leaving marks yes they are <laughs> I stop, should stop doing that and uh, I mean the bridge is you if you do something radical here with your hand you're gonna cut yourself so hmm not that good well other than that a nice three ply scratch plate and uh, yeah this is nice it's metal and yeah have some nice contours on the back as well of course it's a bolt on I don't even have to mention that I think uh, the electronics seems really solid, and uh, yeah, everything we think works on this guitar. It's very, it's a very easy, simple design. So why shouldn't it? Uh, it has medium jumbo frets, or even jumbo it's bass frets on it. And uh, yeah, a rather rounded radius. It's a nine and a half radius, like most square guitars are. The only thing I I don't know if there's something wrong or if it's supposed to be that way is the tone knob on this guitar. Because it, it works, but it's very subtle. It's just hardly noticeable. Well, that leads us to sounds, doesn't it? We have to hear this guitar, bass guitar. I'm so used to reviewing guitars. Bass guitar. And uh, yeah. So I'm going to play it now. I'm going to start with just the jazz bass bridge pickup and then just the precision neck. It's like a middle pickup uh, on its own and then both together. And then finally, I'm going to show you what the tone knob does or doesn't. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Okay, I really like this bass. It's very, yeah, it's versatile. You can get a lot of sounds out of it. And if you just file down the fret ends, well, you've got a bass that's probably going to last your lifetime. It seems very solid and well built otherwise. So, yeah, this has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd demoing a Squire Vintage Modified Jaguar Special Short Scale Bass. Hope you found this useful. See you soon.